if you want to lower your estrogen levels, you know, if you're natural or doing HRT, this is how you do it. 25 milligrams of zinc at breakfast, 25 milligrams of zinc at dinner. Make sure you take that with a meal and uh, also don't take any more than that. Yeah, yeah, what's going on guys? Seth Spartan here, nutrition training hormone expert and Prometheus Pro Bodybuilder. Guys, today we're going to be talking about how to use zinc to lower your estrogen levels. A lot of people probably don't even know that zinc lowers estrogen levels just by reducing aromatase enzyme activity. So guys, if, you have, if you're a natural athlete or if you're natural in general and you have high estrogen levels, you know, you're, let's say you're completely natural, you have high estrogen levels and you want to get them lower. We're going to talk, to, we're going to talk about how to safely address this using zinc. And if you are on, let's say you're on HRT or you're on TRT, testosterone replacement therapy, and you know, you've been using an aromatase inhibitor because your estrogen levels get too high. Um, but again, watch my video I just made on why you shouldn't use an AI. Um, if, you, if you're using an aromatase inhibitor, there's a lot of nasty, nasty, ugly effects when using that, you know, such as terrible joint pain, uh, can make you feel terrible, um, sleep really bad. Um, it's better to be able to have your estrogen levels, let's say the middle of the range, it's better to have them a little higher than lower, you know, and also we could talk about, you know, cardiovascular disease risk also over time. So Again, if you're a natural athlete and you want to lower your estrogen levels a little bit, or if you are on hormone replacement therapy or TRT, and you want to, you know, you want to not have to use an aromatase inhibitor, then guys, I'm going to teach you exactly how to do that using zinc. So let's get started. So zinc is a mineral found in many foods, um, you know, uh, found in meat, you know, red meat, found in a lot of different, you know, oysters. Zinc is a super common mineral found in all these different foods, right? So zinc has an amazing effect, and not just does it does it boost you know sperm count, uh, sperm motility, uh, fertility in general, and a bunch of other impacts in the human body, um, as well as also affecting growth hormone release and testosterone. Both affects both you know increases testosterone and also increases HGH release in the human body. Zinc does. Um, through a couple different mechanisms, you know, speeds up the latex cells, latex cells in the testicles, grab testosterone or grab cholesterol, whip it, transform it, whip it out as testosterone. Not only does zinc speed up that process, um, but, and also HGH release, and that's why ZMA works. But here, guys, I could just keep talking and keep talking, but let's get to the point here. If you want to lower your estrogen levels, you know, if you're natural or doing HRT, this is how you do it. 25 milligrams of zinc at breakfast, 25 milligrams of zinc at dinner. Make sure you take that with a meal and uh, also don't take any more than that. You know, it is safe, it is medically proven safe that you can take zinc, you know, right around 40 milligrams. If you're a, if you're a male, you can take zinc, um, you know, right around 40 milligrams uh, pretty much indefinitely. It's, it's completely safe. So what I'm advising here is you know, if, uh, and it's okay to take a couple days off every once in a while, but the point is guys, you know, if you have high estrogen levels, you know, if you have high estrogen levels, or again, if you are using testosterone and you don't want to have to use a nasty aromatase inhibitor or Remedex or whatever else, watch my video on that guys. I talk about all of these terrible, nasty side effects and joy, including terrible joint pain. Um, you don't want those side effects. This is what I would try first, lower your estrogen using all natural zinc, you know, go to Walgreens, CVS, pick up uh, 40 or 50 milligrams of uh, zinc, uh, you know, tablets, cut them in half, either 20 or 25 milligrams with breakfast, 20 or 25 milligrams with dinner. And guys, I guarantee if you're, if you're a natural with high estrogen levels, this will drop your estrogen levels down, you know, anywhere, probably around 20 points. Okay. By doing this, 
and you'll also increase your HGH levels. So who doesn't want that, right? Um, so, and also if you're a natural, it'll boost your testosterone levels. But point aside, guys, I'm always giving you guys so much more information than I need to. But having said that, guys, um, but if you do this, if you're natural and you got a high estrogen, this should this should take down your estrogen levels and boost your testosterone and growth hormone release in the process. And if you are not natural, if you are doing HRT or TRT, let's say, you know, if you're me, you know, I'm getting, I'm doctor prescribed 250 milligrams of testosterone sipionate per week through Prometheus HRT. Use my code if you want to go through that clinic and get a major discount. Um, or if you're going through uh, your regular doctor, or if you're going through your endocrinologist, or if you're getting TRT and you're not natural, and you're given, you know, 250, 200, whatever milligrams, and your doctor's saying, hey, you know, I can't take you off your, you know, your AI, your aromatase uh, inhibitor, aromatex or whatever else they're giving you, uh, you know, because your estrogen levels get too high. Simple fix, guys. Try doing this, and, you know, more likely than not, you'll be able to get off of uh, that nasty aromatase inhibitor with all of its bad, uh, yeah, gross, nasty effects of that. So... Again, guys, talk to your doctor about all this stuff, you know, don't just modify what you're doing uh, flippantly, but this is something that, again, you know, some people are going to be able to lower their estrogen level by 20 points by doing this. And this is, you know, long-term so much better than using an aromatase inhibitor. And again, guys, if you haven't watched my video, why you shouldn't use an aromatase inhibitor, make sure you watch that video. Guys, Giving you all the best information, stay safe, stay healthy, do everything right, and give the zinc a try, whether you are natural or not. Seth Spartan, and we are out of here.